talent recruitment, and retention is a major challenge facing BPOs. How, how does Magellan attract and keep top talent? How do they create a positive employee experience? Uh, first and foremost, for us, um, you know, since COVID came about, uh, of course, the, one of the, the drawbacks of COVID is that it forced a lot of companies to uh, put people on remote, remote working from uh, re remote work from home. To us, you know, our belief, my belief, is that you know, to it, to to develop talent to ensure that people sort of like are retained in an organization, you have to build the culture within the organization. But it's very difficult to build a culture if the people are working from home. You know, there's no attachment to the organization. You don't really feel the, uh, you know, your colleagues or the people that you work with. So uh, one of the things that we did uh, in the past is really, and we pulled the trigger early on this, is that we actually had, you know, probably around 90% of our employees are uh, on site. You know, very few employees are working from home. And part of that is to develop that culture within them. Um, it's also, on top, it's not just the work aspect, but it's also how do you improve people's skill set? How do you coach them? How do you mentor them? All of those things uh, can be enhanced if you provide a good, so it's very basic though. This is not something new. It's not a new technology thing, but it's how do you improve the culture of the organization so that uh, people want to stay and grow with the company and help the company succeed. Um, too much in, you know, in, in modern organizations is just focused on uh, you know, profits, uh, it's, it's very self-serving. Uh, in our company, we, we, we're very traditional in that aspect. We really try to help improve our people. It's not, it's not the aspect of just saying, you're not meeting KPIs, you're not meeting metrics, uh, I'll give you a second chance, and if you don't still hit, hit it, then we're, we're gonna remove you. We really try to improve how they work, how they function. Uh, we coach them, we mentor them, we provide guidance, uh, it, it's it's really holistic to the uh, the person's uh, self growth. Uh, we want we want we push people to be promoted from within. Um, if you don't provide that culture, and you know people feel that it's a dead end job, or it's just sort of like a uh, a job where people come to work and you know they go home, uh, then you'll end up with sort of like people leaving the company. So you have to provide that culture. Uh, and we have actually a specific group, uh, what we call a COCOM team or culture committee team. And the culture committee team, all they do is just, um, it's kind of like a reverse pyramid, right? Uh, the main objective there is to get feedback from the ground and then bring it to the top level. Uh, it's, not, it's, not, uh, it's not a traditional pyramid, it's a reverse pyramid. The, all the members of our culture committee te uh, uh, team is made up of uh, all the rank and file people that we have in our organization. So people feel that they have a voice in raising concerns, raising issues, and that's why COLCOM is developed in the first place, both to enhance the culture and at the same time to get feedback from people. Because at the end of the day, if people receive that feedback or uh, you know, get a very black and white response from, uh, from management, then and it answers their question. Regardless if you resolve that issue, it actually uh, you know, address, addresses a lot of concerns. Because I think a lot of issues when it comes to retention is also miscommunication. If people don't understand what's going on with the organization, they tend to leave. So it's very critical for us to ensure that uh, mi uh, communication is, miscommunication is kept at a minimum. And that's constant communication with the people that we have on the ground.